Christmas Yaffa is Young Ambassadors for Adventure. So we try and get kids outdoors, creating things, building dens, playing outside, and just getting naturally fit in the outdoors. Yeah, what we've tried to do this year is to live a life that's really simple. It's about doing things and not having things. So you don't get hung up about needing the latest gadget or gizmo or materialistic thing. Hopefully at the start of 2014, um, we were approached by the caravan club and Eldis, a motor home and a caravan dealer, and they set us a challenge to go to 20 different caravan sites in 20 weeks and do 100 activities along the way. And if we did this, we would win a caravan. And so our parents made a very big decision and um, sold our house and they quit their jobs and took us out of school and they're now homeschooling us and we're travelling around the country and um, learning about different places and different things and different people. Prior to making our big decision and living in the caravan, we'd become quite disillusioned with life. Uh, Tim and I were both teachers and we felt that it was a very life consuming job and we weren't spending enough time together as a family. We made efforts to do things at weekends and even squeeze in a midweek adventure as often as we could, but we felt it wasn't enough. So given the fact that we were disillusioned it, and this opportunity came with the caravan, it was the, the spark, the trigger for us to make the big decision. And the balance then changed. Rather than just having the weekends in the week, we could do as much adventuring together as a family as possible. Living in the caravan is a completely different lifestyle to in a house and in school and everything because we don't have as much stuff as we used to but it's really taught me that we don't need that much. Doing things together as a family is our priority and we really value the time that we spend together and that's one of the other things that we try and do. We try and measure our success based on the time that we spend together. We started doing a 500 fresh air miles challenge where we're basically trying to travel 500 miles using non-motorised transport, so scooters and walking and cycling and even horse riding was one of the journeys. And so um, this is to raise money for Tree Aid Africa. We've also been sponsored by a travel company called Exodus and um, They've sponsored us one pound each, me and Ella, one pound each for every mile we complete and the money we raise from that, which is going to be a thousand pounds overall, is going to go to um, Tija Village, which is the village that we visited in the Highless Mountains. So if you did want to sponsor us, just go to justgiving.com, the Meek family. So if you'd like to find out more about what we're doing, um, our website has a blog. There's also a lot of different sections, um, family adventure ideas, small scale, some a bit bigger, learning outdoors, so how, how you can maximise the learning opportunities in the outdoors, as well as ideas for people that are looking for a short, focused, mini adventure to do one evening after work, before bedtime. Well, if people are interested in what we're doing and want to follow us, uh, they can first of all find us on our website, which is www.dotrailersathome.com. We've also got a Facebook page called Micro Adventures, and we're on Twitter, at TMiki. Guys, that's brilliant. Anything else that you'd like to say? If you need a simple life, you don't need simple. Stuff. You don't need many stuff, much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need many stuff. <laughs>